Hi, my name is Cy Porter and this is a creative writing tutorial. And um, let's start with a grammatic refresher. The grammatic refresher is pronoun. So what is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. Examples of pronouns are he, she, it, and they. And those are all pronouns. So, pronoun, pronoun. Okay, creative writing. Um, let's talk about a snag. A snag is a technical difficulty. A lot of books about creative writing and um, instruction on creative writing are about removing snags from the story. And snags are problems with the writing or if you're writing you know for film or animation what have you um, they are things that get in the way of the enjoyment of the viewer um, for the project you are working on and um, so in writing that could be bad spelling and if people are reading and that that can be a snag that can interfere what a snag does is it takes the audience out of the story for a, a split second and they need to struggle with the um, getting finding out what you're trying to say and what what you, they have to they have to work at it to get at what what story you're trying to give to them and the less that you make your audience work the better you want it to really impact them you want to make it you know something that just goes down easily um, and um, so a lot of techniques for creative writing are about recognizing different kinds of snags and removing them. But more importantly, if you can learn to pay attention to those moments where, you know, they're like bumps in the road. And for all the different snags that have been noticed and written about and taught, there are probably plenty that haven't been that you can't go and learn about, but that if you become aware of the snags that occur in your own writing, you can take care of them and become a better writer. Um, so, an author I really enjoy, Kurt Vonnegut, the reason he is a great work writer and a very hard worker is that even though his writing on the surface is very simple and and definitely not thick writing not writing with the allegories and the analogies and the foreshadowing and all of that packed into it and layer upon layer and all that his writing on the on the surface is very simple but you can tell that the integrity and hard work that he put into his stories was removing all the snags so that if you read one of his books it's just very impressive what he's done and I like I like that I like that a writer can do invisible work can do work that contributes to a really great story where the reader is totally unaware of everything that has been done to increase the impact and decrease the interference. So the very uncreative side of writing, a lot of it has to do with just becoming technically proficient at writing enough to where the creative, the, the heart of the story can can be broadcast loud and clear. And 
I mean, an example of a, a, a snag that I ran across in my own writing um, this morning, I was, I, was, uh, I was working on a paragraph describing a man walking and looking at something. And so then I noticed, oh, here's a paragraph where those two things were kind of jumbled up. I'd, I'd have, you know, uh, something about his walking and then looking at something and then something about his walking. Well, I just took that looking at something part and I moved that to the um, beginning of the paragraph and then... Um, so what I did is I grouped together the looking and the walking and by doing that the paragraph was clear and not as jumbled up, not as tangled up and I was able to shorten it and keep all the content and it just it it ran more smoothly that way. So if you can if if you're editing someone else's work or your own if you can pay attention to to what we usually we usually want to stay in the story and not have to pay attention to to the reading we don't want to be aware that we're actually reading we we just want to um be in the story but if you can kind of be Become aware of when you like hit one of those road bumps and think, well, what is it? What is it about the writing that um, has kind of shaken me out of the story a little bit and made it, you know, more difficult than it has to be to get the story? And that's a very helpful way of of looking at the writing and and um, you know something that I hope that I can can elaborate on in following tutorials. So um, if you like these tutorials, um, I'm, I'm putting them on the net for free to get the word out about um, the website solomation.com where I put a lot of my creative storytelling <clears throat> in, in a video form, uh, hand-drawn pictures, um, and I'd really appreciate it if you went and, and watched one of, uh, one of the episodes of, of the story I'm working on. Um, and um, I wish you a lot of luck with uh, your writing. Have a good day.